Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. I just wanted to make this quick video to keep you guys in the know and let you know about some of the stuff going on on YouTube. As some of you may already know, YouTube has just been extremely unreliable lately. Every two seconds, there's some kind of crazy glitch going on. That, of course, YouTube denies and says everything's business as usual. So I did want to let you guys know a couple of ways that you can follow me and make sure you don't miss any of my content. And what actually triggered me to make this video is that last night I got a notification that someone had subscribed to my channel. The problem is that this person that subscribed, I know them personally. I know they already had subscribed to me forever. It turns out they happened to check my YouTube channel because they were wondering why I haven't uploaded in over a month. I haven't stopped uploading for a month. Once they checked my channel, they realized they were unsubscribed and they had never unsubscribed before. So this problem that YouTube has where people are unsubbing, I know someone personally that it happened to. It's not just some stranger on the internet. So they resubscribed and caught up on all my videos. And if it happened to them, I'm sure it's happened to other people too. So just a couple of ways you can follow me and make sure you don't miss any of my videos. When you do subscribe, even if you're subscribed already, you can still check this. There's a little bell by the subscribe button that you'll see once you subscribe. If you click on that bell, you can receive notifications every time I upload a video. So if you are subscribed to me and want to keep up with all my content, make sure you click on that bell and sign up for notifications. I also started a Twitter, so if you have Twitter, make sure you follow me on there. I also have a Gamer Thumb TV Facebook page, so make sure you like that too if you're on Facebook. Every single time I upload a video, I post it on Twitter, I post it on Facebook. That way I keep everybody across the board up to date that's following me. And I also opened up a VidMe account. VidMe, if you're not familiar with what that is, I actually opened one based on the recommendation of a couple of other YouTubers I follow. That's another video sharing site. It's just like YouTube, really. It's pretty similar in, in every way. It is missing some of the things that make YouTube a really good video sharing site but it's definitely gaining traction. In time, I could see it being a serious competitor for YouTube. So yes, I have been working on putting up all my old videos on there slowly, organizing them into albums. Every time I upload a new video, it's also gonna go up on there too. So that's another way you can follow me. I always make sure I get at least one video out a week when I can, if there's multiple videos I would like to do in a short time. Sometimes I may do two to three videos a week. I can't promise it'll be like that every single week. I know I've tried to do an upload schedule in the past, but with life outside of YouTube, it can get pretty hectic. So unfortunately for me, there's no way I can really have a, a set upload schedule. And now that I'm talking about the upload schedule, I wanna use this opportunity to let you guys know what's coming up next. I just uploaded my Resident Evil 7 review. So what I have coming up for you next is Double Dragon 4. I'm gonna do a Double Dragon 4 button smash episode. Then I'm gonna bring you another Midnight Movies, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Commando followed by another episode of Button Smash for Streets of Rage. I love doing these game reviews because it gives me a reason to actually go back and play through an old game I haven't played in a little while. I do have a couple ideas of things I would like to go back and review, but uh, I, I want to hear your comments. What, what would you like me to go back and review? I'm really in the mood to go back and play some PlayStation 1 games, so I'm thinking of doing maybe maybe like a, a Tomb Raider game or or another Resident Evil. I've already reviewed Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 2 on this channel. Maybe I'll go back and play the original or maybe even Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. That's been one of my all-time favorites. If you guys have any ideas of any games you'd like me to review, even movies, whatever, leave me a comment down below. I always like taking your guys' feedback and using that to decide what I want to review. But anyways, guys, as always, I appreciate all your support all your feedback. Thank you for listening. This is Fabian. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.